Hi, my name is Georgia and this is my God story. Growing up, I didn't have any influence of faith uh, within my family or direct friends. It's funny because I was always a little bit envious of those who went to Christian schools and Catholic schools. I think God was working within me from a very young age, even though I didn't have that influence around me. Back then I was working in nightclubs and I guess I was around the party scene quite a bit. However, I still um, still got those feelings, particularly late at night or on my own or driving. You know, is there, is there something else or yeah, is this all there is? I was working in a restaurant that was actually doing the catering for uh, the event for Calvary Building Fund. During the dinner, Pastor James actually got up and um, started to talk. That was the first time that I ever actually heard anyone talk about God or Jesus. And I'd, I had no idea, um, but I just felt something within me change that night. I went home, I decided to uh, get in contact with some friends who I knew went to Calvary, uh, and that was a Saturday night, and I believe they invited me on the next day on the Sunday service. As soon as I walked in the door, I, it was not what I was expecting, but everyone was just so welcoming and so friendly. It was that afternoon that I gave my life to God in, in, the, in the night service. Within church was fantastic, but I felt for the next, say, 18 months that I, I really felt I was nearly almost living two lives. It was really quite tough for me because I knew that church was where I wanted to be and was where I was supposed to be, yet everyone around me was sort of running, running the other way. So I was serving one night uh, for Red Frogs uh, ministry and uh, I was out there and I was seeing uh, some young girls drinking and um, and young girls struggling. And when I went home that night, uh, I it sort of put it into perspective for me of, of that's still the struggle that I was going through. I was seeing through them and I was seeing the heart and I still saw their struggle because I was going through that as well. Uh, I felt really unworthy uh, of the, the grace that God had for me and the life that he had for me. Uh, but I felt that night God really speak to me and say that uh, even though I wasn't deserving, uh, because of what Jesus had done, then in turn made me deserving and then I, I decided to accept God's grace in the fullest. The next day uh, at church I um, decided to completely jump in both feet and give my life to God and actively seek Him. When I had that res revelation I knew that I had to make some serious changes. I decided to move out of my home, get a new circle of friends while still staying in contact with everyone. Uh, I decided to get a new job, get out of that, that sort of culture that I'd been around. Um, I've decided to enrol in, in leadership college as well. It was very hard the second time around, but I knew that uh, I had to give it everything I've got and I knew what I had and I'd walked away from God the first time and I wasn't about to do that again. I really feel that um, serving in church and, and going to college has really given me a confidence uh, to be a person of influence in my life, uh, both in and outside of the church as well. Since giving my life to God, uh, I don't feel like all my problems have disappeared. However, I do feel like uh, He's given me a strength to be able to face them and the sense that I'm not alone in my walk as well. Everyone can have a God story and that was mine.